And the first project I wanted to talk about is Ether, which is about sacred geometry and the four elements. And in this um, project, we decided to find a way for the audience to um, find a communication to uh, the dancers as well as uh, the visuals. So as you can see, the when we place the uh, controllers onto the podium, it changes the elements on the dancers. And this is, and we've been able to show this project at many venues. And here is a, a representation of the dancer, which is one of my partners, Kat Sullivan. And uh, basically, we did all of this in real time. So uh, for our current projects, we use uh, the perception neuron suit. And uh, basically, uh, you can see the elements on the second character. Uh, as she dances in real time. And all of the dances are based off of uh, sacred geometry and the Fibonacci. The second project that I wanted to talk about is 528, uh, which, is my, which was my senior project. And for this project, I created a dress um, that I wanted to do projection mapping on. Um, and I also created a video uh, based off of, uh, which is a mixture of fractals and uh, images from the Hubble Space Telescope. And this is a, a video uh, from, from my creation. Um, and so during this project, I used a uh, heart rate as a way to control the videos and audio, uh, as well as uh, the movement of the fabric flowers. So whenever you count it down from 528 heartbeats, um, something would change in the space. Um, so I ended up actually being the performer for this project, uh, and in the second video is actual is the actual performance, um, where I sat into the middle and I created a, a kind of barrier um, from me to the audience. So when you walked into the space, it was as if you were kind of walking into me. Um, and those are all of the projections. Um, but while doing this project, I realized that I wasn't emotionally, physically, or mentally ready to um, create a project like this. So I decided to create Clarity, which was a kind of connection to my inner self and a way to try to heal my inner child. Um, and I wanted to create a project where uh, I could introduce the audience into a way to um, connect to me. And so I decided to do all the motion capture for it um, and also use physics-based animations. Um, and for the first iteration, I ended up uh, creating my higher self. And so uh, this is uh, some of the video from that. Um, and right now I'm in the process of creating my inner child, um, which I'm which I'm still trying to create. I'm trying to think of ways to uh, to build, to, to rebuild my inner child. So that's kind of what I'm in the, in the process of doing now. Um, and I'm also looking into character AI uh, so that uh, you'll be able to have a more intimate relationship to the characters um, in this interactive virtual reality narrative. And so I guess uh, a lot of my art is uh, mostly about using vulnerability through technology um, and encouraging people to kind of, I guess, create a relationship to me uh, as well as to do it themselves. Thank you. Thank you.